Good morning, good afternoon from BI Consulting Services. So today I am doing a video, as you can probably tell from the visual on the page, on the MBA and some of the top player details specifically on MBA. And yeah, I've got LeBron and AD on my screen. Kind of a giveaway probably, but just in case you didn't know, it's my uh, LeBron James is my all-time favorite player. AD happened to play with him. I thought this was a good picture. This was sort of the pre-determining who was going to have what number uh, at the start of the season. As most of you guys probably already know, LeBron James is officially number 23 for at least this season. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, but nevertheless, um, this is what I'm going to do a video on. But before we even get started, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys who've been watching the videos on my YouTube channel uh, for the past bit. Um, over 10,000 views is pretty awesome. So I want to thank you guys for that. I also want to say, hey, this content is built and developed for you all. So if there's anything in particular that you're just dying or eager to see inside Power BI that you haven't caught on another video or another channel, then drop it down below in the comments as you're subscribing to the channel. Go ahead, click, this, click the subscribe button right now before you even start the entire video hit subscribe and then at the end of this video if there's something else you want to see whether it's sharepoint api twitter apis if it's more stuff on mba content anything you want to be able to see inside power bi anything that you're sort of having issues with or trouble with whether it's calculated columns or measures or how to do something in edit queries ask down below and i'll make sure to do a video on it so without further ado we'll go ahead and jump into today's um video so I am, as I said, an avid NBA fan. So more often than not, I'll come out here and say, you know, something like NBA leader stats as an example. And I typically always make my way to the same spot, this very first site that pops up. And it was maybe a couple of weeks back when I noticed, wow, this is in a nice clean table format. I almost guarantee it work inside Power BI. And of course it does. Um, but just to show you really quick, this is the URL. Uh, when I come out here, I'm typically looking at the totals um, instead of the per game uh, numerical values that'll show up. And as you can see, this URL dynamically changes from what it was before to a new um, URL. And it kind of reminds me of like what you do when you're building in parameters or whatever the technical term is for it when you're looking at APIs. You typically have to put in certain details so that it pulls down exactly what you're looking for. And that's what this is doing. It's giving you the season, which is this current season. They want regular season, not playoffs, I'm guessing. And then it's just going to give you the totals. So that URL is kind of important because when you get out here to Power BI, that's the one we're going to use. So I know I usually will take you guys through and build out an entire uh, report. Today I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you the logistics of how to grab details from the web. Uh, I will load this on my um, Power BI web, web, web. That way if you look below you'll see a URL to go play with it dynamically. Um, the only filter I actually have in the entire report is just to select individual players. So if you go across these two pages there's only two. There's sort of these key player stats. Right here you're looking at points and three point percentages. Um, side by side and then here you're kind of looking to see steals blocks and rebounds sort of who's leading in those respective areas across the league and then you're starting to see some of those key KPIs and some of the leaders in it so who's sort of leading the top five players who are leading in those areas and if you know anything about basketball Damian Lillard, James Harden, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kyrie and Luka Doncic are kind of household names at this point uh, so they're definitely leading in a lot of different stats, and rightfully so. They're pretty phenomenal basketball players. And so uh, that's sort of one page of the report. And then sort of the second page is just a really it's the exact mirror of what you've seen out there um, in the website. The only difference is I've only got the top 20 players, not 50. Um, so it's giving you sort of a rundown of their key KPIs, uh, their points, point, points average, their points per game average, uh, field goals made, and just some additional KPIs associated with these respective players outlined here. 
And then at the top, I've just got the ter current top player uh, and then just some key KPIs associated with that um, player as well. Again, the only filter, if you filter this here, it's going to sort of take you across all three pages and just show you those respective players. Um, so it gives you a little bit of detail around maybe how, let's say you want to see how some of your favorite players are stacking up against the best. So LeBron James is one of my favorite players. I love watching Trey Young, super fun, great to watch as well. And then you kind of be crazy if you didn't want to see how is Kawhi Leonard on the list. If he is, I'm completely passing him. So let's just do Jason Tatum. He's pretty fun to watch too. Um, there was, yep, you guys will probably be like, Kawhi Leonard, there he is, there we go. All right, so you can take some of these top players and just see sort of how their stats are comparing to that of like the top player right now. And you can instantly see names, points are pretty sky high in conjunction with some of these other folks. But you can start to see how they're stacking up across, uh, across the board. Pretty interesting, you'll see that Kawhi and LeBron are sitting relatively close, um, aside from the fact that we know LeBron James is playing a few more minutes than Kawhi. Uh, so again, just a kind of cool way for you to be able to look at data um, associated with something that you're passionate about or you enjoy. And so without further ado, we'll go ahead and we'll just do uh, this inside Power BI. So you go out to get data. You'll pull your data from the web because this is coming from a web URL. You'll paste in the URL that was provided after you apply your filters or, or certain parameters. You'll hit OK. Then it's going to go out to the web and grab any tables or components that would probably be important to you. So this right here, I can immediately just show you or, or see is just the um, the table that we seen when we first went out to that website uh, with the filters we've requested be applied. And this is just sort of like a table that will show you uh, a component of that. So this is just giving you the player and the name table. Um, which may be important at some point. Maybe you want to build some sort of relationship between the two and do some additional um, analytics. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go to edit queries. We're not going to do anything crazy from a transformation perspective in there today, uh, but I will sort of take you out here and that way we can at least see what's going on. Yep, so this is the exact data. Um, you can do a quick spot check. Damian Lillard, 342 in minutes, 300 points. 342 in minutes, 300 points. So we can instantly tell it's pulling down the right data, which is extremely important. So then from there, you just go ahead and hit the close and apply. It'll load all that data in for you, and you can start that visualization layer. Again, for this video, we're not going to do that visualization component, um, but still probably very helpful for you to kind of see um, how it comes out. All right, so here it is again. Once you've loaded your data, you will be able to see those two components. Everything looks good and it's working. Then once you've actually sort of done all of that pretty stuff, like make the report and you're completed with it, you can actually publish this thing to PowerBI.com, set it up for an auto refresh, and create an app for it, which is kind of cool because then you're able to sort of see this data on your phone and on the go, and that way if you're really into, power, uh, into the NBA and you don't have time to watch every single game or you miss some of the games, you can easily go out and you'll be able to see sort of where those players are in the standings. Um, so for the sake of that, I'll just take you really quick to a dashboard that I put together. This is not the one that you've seen just a second ago, but very similar. Um, again, where you can just see um, for the top player, you'll start to see sort of how they're ranking. And then sort of some key KPIs associated with that as well. Uh, and then it's in a app format. And that way, as these players are... Um, progressing and stats are changing or shifting, you can then dynamically go out here and see that data um, pretty easily. Uh, so if you guys need me to sort of ever take you through how to connect to gateways, how to do an auto refresh, anything like that, um, please let me know. Again, I hope this video was semi-helpful. 
fairly quick. I know, I get it. Um, but I hope that you'll be able to sort of see some of the cool stuff you can do with some of the MBA or any data point on the web. Um, and you can do it right here inside Power BI dynamically, build a, build a Power BI report for it, then a dashboard, then have easy access from your mobile device. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them below. Any comments, drop them below. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. We want to make this information useful for you. So if there's something that you're just eager to see or hear about, let me know. Uh, I was thinking on doing something on a Twitter API next go around, or maybe even doing something else on web-based data, maybe on gateway connections and setup, if that's something that for you can be cumbersome or difficult at times. So be thinking through it, and then uh, I will do a video on it. Have a good one.